minutes uh, past six right now. We're going to talk about contactless payments and uh, the number of shops that are no longer accepting cash. It's one of those talking points at the moment, Sarah. We mentioned it yesterday. I know you've had a huge reaction, haven't you? Yes, good morning. Loads of you got in touch talking to us about concerns about um, struggling to kind of find places where you can still use cash because shops are saying, look, we prefer you to use contactless. And we know not everyone is comfortable with digital payments. And actually, cash remains essential for around 8 million people. Good morning, everyone. Clearly, lots of you are concerned about the future of cash, given the rise of contactless payments. Some shops, as I say, have refused banknotes and coins during the pandemic. And last year, we withdrew a lot less cash 81 billion pounds. That's still a huge amount of money, but that's actually down nearly 40% on the amount we took out the year before. Now, despite that, the average UK consumer still took out one and a half thousand pounds last year. So cash is not dead. And for vulnerable people or those in rural communities, it's more important than ever. The problem is the number of ATMs fell by 10% last year and the post office has plans to cut a third of its cash machines over the next year or so. Now Ruth runs a post office in a village in County Durham. The nearby bank is closing and her post office ATM was threatened too, but she wasn't having any of it and took action. Not everybody just wants to use the card to pay for things, they like cash in the hands. If the, you know, if the on a budget, more so if the on a budget, it's vital for the community. It's vital to keep it so that there's a lot of vulnerable people, uh, elderly people who are living within a budget, need access to free cash. And obviously it is a free cash machine. You're not charged to use it. Um, so it was vital for the community. And it was also vital for my viability uh, to keep the business going. And what about banks? Well, lots of plans for branch closures were put on hold last year, but HSBC, Barclays, Lloyds and TSB have all announced closures for this year. And Consumer Group, which estimates 11 banks every single week will close, 40% of branches. And the pandemic has sped up this decline and the worry is some people will be cut off. Campaigners want the government to step in and quickly. The government committed a year ago that it would legislate to protect cash. And in the meantime, the pandemic has accelerated the decline of cash. And the reality is our cash infrastructure is close to collapsing. Every week seems to bring another announcement about bank branches closing and thousands of ATMs are currently closed and may never reopen. And the problem is once the infrastructure has gone, it's gone. We need legislation now and we really can't wait any longer. Now, the government told us they are working on legislation as promised. They know how vital this is and have listened to the evidence. And they're going to announce next steps soon. And there are some really interesting trials going on at the moment, testing out new ways of getting cash to people. So ordering money with your food delivery is one option, or getting cash back at the village shop without having to buy anything. An army barracks and church hall are also being piloted as financial hubs. And I'd love to know your thoughts on this. What could the solution be? Contact details are on the screen now, so please do get in touch. And I think what's really interesting is there are some creative ideas, aren't there, on how to tackle this issue yeah. and communities coming together to try and find some solutions. Yeah, some good ideas there. Thank you very much. So we're all used to contactless payment, aren't we? A lot less cash knocking around at the moment. It was before, during the pandemic, even more. You talked about this yesterday and it, a lot of people picked up on it, didn't they? Not for everyone a great thing. Yes, good morning. There's been huge interest in this story today, and that's because cash remains essential for around 8 million people. Not everyone is comfortable with digital payments, and at the same time, ATMs and bank closures are continuing at pace. Good morning, everyone. Clearly, lots of you are concerned about the future of cash, given the rise in contactless payments. Some shops have refused banknotes and coins during the pandemic, and last year, we withdrew a lot less cash, £81 billion. That's still a huge amount of money, of course, but that's actually down nearly 40% on the amount we took out the year before. Now, despite that, the average UK consumer still took out around 
£1,000 last year. So cash is not dead. And for vulnerable people, all those in rural communities, it's more important than ever. The problem is the number of ATMs fell by 10% last year and the post office has plans to cut a third of its cash machines over the next year or so. And what about banks? Well, lots of plans for branch closures were put on hold last year, but HSBC, Barclays, Lloyds and TSB have all announced closures for this year and Consumer Group, which estimates 11 banks every single week could close. That's 40% of branches. Now, Stephen runs a centre for people with learning disabilities and other special needs in Botton Village in North Yorkshire. They've now got a brand new post office counter and ATM. Botton Village supports around 60 people on site in supported living accommodation and the people we support predominantly have learning disabilities. Our local bank closed down, I believe, around about seven years ago, so access to cash has been quite limited. We know we're entering an age of technology, but a lot of our people we support are used to handling cash and it also helps people to, to budget more smartly, more effectively. Um, actually, the feel of cash, counting out money, is really important to increase people's independence. Now, the government told us they are working on legislation regarding access to cash. They know how vital this is and have listened to the evidence. And they're going to announce the next step soon. And there are some really interesting trials going on at the moment, testing out new ways of getting cash to people. So ordering money with your food delivery is one option, a bit like click and collect, or getting cash back at the village shop without having to buy anything else. And lots of you have been getting in touch again this morning with some of your thoughts on how to tackle this issue. Shirley emailed in to say that cash is essential for many reasons. It helps to teach children maths and the value of money. Val from Carrick Fergus in Northern Ireland says her friend in her mid seventies had their local branch closed. She now travels seven miles on the bus to the city centre to do her banking. And Stephen from Lancashire told us he uses cash every week, spending notes and coins at local shops and cashing money at the bank, even though it's eight miles from home. And Pamela from the New Forest emailed asking how a cashless society could impact street performers. Her teenage daughter busks in the village to make some cash while studying. So thank you for all your emails and comments this morning. And it's worth remembering, of course, that although we're not using as much cash, there is still lots of it about 29 billion coins to be exact. And another fact for you, the fastest growing notes are 20 and 50 pounds. And people have been predicting the end of cash for decades now, almost since the arrival of credit cards. But I think what the pandemic has done is kind of accelerated that shift, hasn't it, to a cashless society yeah. and highlighting the issue even more. Is there, um, can you lend me a fiver? I use contactless. I haven't. That doesn't work, couldn't, does it? You I can't couldn't do remember that. the last time I had cash on me, really? apart from the one pound coin that I put in the, the trolley to go to the supermarket. But as I say, digital payments don't work for everyone. Um, on the busking, I, I saw someone busking um, quite recently and they had a little machine that you could just go and tap. So yeah, there is a way. Yeah, that's really common actually yeah. now if you're out and about. Street performers have their own little contactless machine. So evolving all the time, really. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you.